So we'll look at an example here with phenol failing. And I'd like to thank Reese Lewis for this animation. So as we play the animation, we're changing the pH. We can see we've got hydronium um, ions there, um, water in the low pHs turns into hydronium ions because of the hydrogen ions. As the pH increases, we turn over to hydroxide ions being present in the water. And as that happens, we get a change in some of the bonds on the phenol phthalene uh, molecule. And when that happens, we get a bit of a change in shape. We get a slight change in shape there. That change in shape leads to a change in the way that light reflects off of the phenol phthalene molecule. Um, in this case, it reflects wavelengths of light that make up pink in our brain. Um, when we reverse the pH, where we go back to being an acid, uh, the molecule changes shape back, and we get back to the colorless um, situation we were in. So with phenolphthalene, um, when it's in uh, acidic up to about a pH of 8 or 9, um, it's colorless. So here we can see over here we've got a picture of the acid form where it's colorless, and over here where you can see the basic form uh, where it's pink. Now, cha subtle change in shape leads to the change in the way that light reflects off it, and that changes the, its color. So, when phenolphthalein is colorless, it's in an acidic solution. When it's pink, it's in a strong basic solution.